Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla to release over-the-air software update to fix seat belt chime malfunction on 817,000 cars. Biden administration finally willing to consult with Tesla CEO Elon Musk, but on semiconductor shortage. And, Tesla applies to build giant new cathode factory for battery production, next to Gigafactory Texas. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla is rolling out an over-the-air software update to fix a seat belt chime issue that may result in drivers not being aware that they are not buckled in. The recall covers a total of 817,143 vehicles, comprised of 2021 and 2022 Tesla Model S, 2021 and 2022 Tesla Model X, 2017 to 2022 Tesla Model 3, and 2020 to 2022 Tesla Model Y. A notice filed recently by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration (NHTSA) described the nature of the seat belt chime issue. According to the NHTSA's safety recall report, a software error may prevent a warning chime from activating, even if drivers do not have their seat belts on. As of January 31, 2022, Tesla is not aware of any warranty claims, field reports, crashes, injuries, or fatalities related to the condition. The seat belt chime issue was initially brought to Tesla's attention by the South Korea Automobile Testing and Research Institute, CATRI, on January 6, 2022. From January 10 to 22, 2022, Tesla's vehicle software and homologation teams conducted an investigation on the condition, as well as the scope of the issue. A recall determination was made by Tesla voluntarily on January 25, 2022, though the fix would be rolled out through a free software update, similar to other patches that the company rolls out to its fleet regularly. It should be noted that a fix for the seatbelt chime issue started rolling out in software update 2021.43.101.1, which was initially introduced to the Model 3 and Model Y on January 27, 2022. Tesla Model S and Model X vehicles, who were affected by the issue, started receiving the software update with the seatbelt chime fix the next day on January 28, 2022. Similar to the recalls that the company recently initiated for its vehicles, owners who are affected by the issue are not required to take any specific actions for their vehicles except to ensure that their cars are connected to the internet. Tesla's remedy to the seat belt chime issue is as follows. A firmware release will correct the software error so that the audible seat belt reminder chime will reset if it is interrupted while chiming. Firmware release 2021.43.101.1, which includes this remedy, was introduced in Model 3 and Model Y production on January 27, 2022, and in Model S and Model X production on January 28, 2022. Separately, firmware release 2022.4.5, which also includes this remedy, will deploy over the air to delivered vehicles in early February 2022. No further action is necessary from owners whose vehicles are equipped with firmware release 2021.43.101.1 or 2022.4.5 or a later release. New vehicles will not be delivered to customers without these firmware or a later release. Tesla does not plan to include a statement in the Part 577 owner notification about pre-notice reimbursement to owners because there is no paid repair relating to the underlying condition and owners will receive the remedy free of charge with an over-the-air firmware release. Moving to the next update, Biden administration finally willing to consult with Tesla CEO Elon Musk but on semiconductor shortage. United States President Joe Biden has repeatedly avoided mentioning Tesla and CEO Elon Musk when talking about the electric vehicle revolution in the U.S. The lack of acknowledgement is largely the result of the influence the United Auto Workers, UAW Union, has over the administration, a group which despite years of efforts, has failed to unionize workers at Tesla's Fremont factory. Now it appears 
The administration is finally willing to consult with Musk, but on matters related to solving the semiconductor supply chain shortages. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo said in an interview with CNBC recently, they want Musk's help because Tesla successfully navigated the shortage, adding that legacy automakers were still learning quickly how to overcome it. Raimondo also said Musk's feelings shouldn't be hurt and that he should help the administration tackle the problem. None of this is personal. These issues are way too important for anyone to have, you know, feelings hurt. Like let's just do the work. And as I said, anyone who has good ideas or is willing to help us, absolutely we want the help, Raimondo said. The repeated snubs appears to reach a crescendo recently. A change.org petition asking for the Biden administration to acknowledge Tesla's EV leadership has more than 50,000 signatures. A large billboard ad has also appeared near New York's Times Square, asking Biden to just say it. Moving to the next update, Tesla applies to build giant new cathode factory for battery production, next to Gigafactory Texas. Tesla has applied to build a giant new facility, seemingly to produce cathode materials for battery manufacturing, next to Gigafactory Texas, in Austin. In 2020, Electrek first revealed that Tesla is going to build its next Gigafactory in Austin. Later, it was confirmed that Tesla acquired over 2,000 acres of land around the Colorado River, east of the city. Two years later, Tesla has now built a giant building for the main factory at what is now called Gigafactory Texas. Last month, it was confirmed that production of the Model Y has started at the new factory and the automaker also deployed part of a battery cell production in the building. But with over 2,000 acres, Tesla has been expected to deploy several new projects around the main factory. Last year, it was revealed that Tesla was working on a new project, the Project Bobcat, on around 97 acres at the site. Now, Tesla has applied for another project, codenamed as Project Cathode, on 32 acres at the site. In the building application obtained by Electrek, it says that it is going to be used as an industrial use facility. Tesla is not directly named on the application, but Michael Loftus, of engineering firm Kimley Horn, is named as the applicant, which he and the firm also were named, as for previous construction permits, at the Gigafactory Texas project. The project is also listed as being on a parcel of land, next to the Colorado River, where Gigafactory Texas is located. In the following image, the green portion that you can see is all the land acquired by Tesla and the orange dot is where the main building is located. From the name of the new project, it is fairly clear that it is going to be for a cathode production factory. Tesla originally announced plans to build its own cathode facility during its Battery Day presentation in 2020. Drew Baglino, Senior Vice President of Engineering, said the following at that time. We're gonna go and start building our own cathode facility in North America and leveraging all of the North American resources that exist for nickel and lithium, and just doing that, just localizing our cathode supply chain and production, we can reduce miles traveled by all the materials that end up in the cathode by 80%. Tesla has since made move to secure lithium and nickel supply from North American sources, including deals with Piedmont Lithium and Talon Metals. Several additional similar deals are expected in the coming years to accelerate the production of critical battery metals in North America. In an update on its progress in producing its new 4680 battery cell last month, Tesla confirmed that it has already deployed battery manufacturing equipment at Gigafactory Texas, and some are already in operation. A cathode manufacturing facility next to the factory would localize more of the battery cell production and could help achieve greater volume. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.